Only tonight at 6, a fentanyl-related homicide trial is now underway in Riverside County. This is the first case of its kind to go to trial here, where the defendant has been charged with murder and a fentanyl poisoning death. We have provided extensive coverage on the fentanyl crisis here at home and around the state. Now, in this case, 34-year-old Vincente Romero is charged with second-degree murder in the death of Kelsey King back in June of 2020. Opening statements began today in a Murrieta courtroom. And, and as you can see on the screen, this video inside the courtroom was recorded by the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. In an unusual move, the judge granted access to their office's camera as the pool camera for all local news media for the opening statements in this case. Now this case is one that district attorneys from across the state will be keeping an eye on. It could set a legal precedent that will help them with cases in their own counties. Back in July, we told you about a similar case out of Placer County near Sacramento. A 21-year-old was convicted of second-degree murder in the fentanyl death of a 15-year-old girl. The defendant pled guilty in this case, so it did not go to a jury trial. The Placer County case and the Riverside County case are similar. Both prosecutors claim that the defendants knew their products were deadly and the victims were unsuspecting. In Riverside County right now, there are 30 cases of fentanyl-involved homicide. The DA says that 23 of those cases are active right now. We will be tracking this story closely, so stay with News Channel 3 on the air and always online for any new developments.